It's Matt with Matthew. So go pick up your shoes. Increase your worldview. It's Matt with Matthew. X equals three. Welcome to this month's video blog of Math with Matthew. This one is going to focus on some of the misconceptions associated with the Common Core math. Now, Common Core has been around for a long time, and the reason why I chose to do this video blog on the Common Core math now has to do with many recent inaccurate articles and posts that have been shared on social media about the Common Core, in particular the mathematics. And what I want to do today is answer some questions and clear up some misconceptions associated with the Common Core mathematics. Now, the first one is that the Common Core is a curriculum. That is not true. The Common Core state standards are, as it says in the title, a set of standards. What are the expectations of what the student should know about at each particular grade level? It has nothing to do with curriculum. The curriculum that schools, that districts, that homeschooled parents can choose to teach the standards is up to them, up to the school, up to the teachers. So it is just a set of standards, expectations of what the students need to know. Now the reason why we have this set of standards throughout most of the states of the United States of America is to have consistency. So that we know that a student graduating from third grade in Massachusetts would have learned the same topics or standards as if they graduated from third grade in Virginia, in Texas, in Florida, in California, throughout. So we have that set standards throughout. So that's the reason why we have the Common Core standards and it is not tied directly to curriculum. The next is that there's a misconception that the Common Core is calling for a specific pedagogy. That is not true at all. Again, it's just basically set to standards. In the past, many standards focused on a particular style of teaching. The Common Core state standards do not. It calls for procedural fluency. It calls for conceptual understanding. Now the procedural fluency says that you are able to do the calculations, have the number sense to be able to do the actual mathematical, mathematical calculations. The conceptual understanding that is called for in the Common Core says that students can understand the process, the understanding about why the formula for area of a circle is pi times radius squared. The procedural fluency is that you could substitute numbers in and calculate the area. The conceptual understanding is that you know why the formula is pi times the radius squared. Also, the Common Core calls for people to be able to explain why this is the answer. Why is the answer that you gave whatever it is? That you can be able to explain it. So it doesn't call for a specific pedagogy, but it really asks the students to have a deeper understanding of the concept. One thing that the Common Core does have is the standards for mathematical practice. These standards are what should be occurring within the classroom, such as having students do problem solving, having students do reasoning, having students understand what they are doing through modeling and having precision in what they do and being able to do things such as apply the mathematics. So these standards for mathematical practice uh, really show what, does, what occurs within the classroom. Let's move on to another misconception. A misconception is that students or parents can't do this quote new math. There really is no new math occurring here. Math is not different now than it was 10 years ago. Again, there's more focus on the understanding and ex having students explain why this is the answer to make sure they really understand it. And I really have a, an issue with people that claim that they can't do math or they hate math. They wear that as a badge of honor that, oh, I'm one of these people that can't do the math. 
And I really want to work with these parents and, and people that feel this way uh, so that they can feel comfortable with the math that is involved within the Common Core. The standards are a little bit more difficult in many states than what people are used to, but the whole idea is that we build conceptual understanding and procedural fluency. And the final misconception is that the Common Core is an assessment, and that is not the case. Again, it is just the standards. The Common Core is a set of expectations. There are assessments that are out there, such as the Park Assessment, or the Smarter Balanced, or other state-run assessments that assess the Common Core standards, because most states have adopted the Common Core standards, but the Common Core does not call for any specific assessment and is not tied to any particular assessment. So, when we talk about the Common Core math, let's make sure we focus on exactly what it is. They are standards, they are expectations of what students should be able to know and do from pre-K through the 12th grade. I'm Math with Matthew. Follow me on Twitter, at Math with Matthew, and see my website, mathwithmatthew.com. Thanks so much for listening to this video blog.